In this video, we are discussing partitioner in MapReduce. Partitioner works in between the mapper and the reducer. So let us discuss this concept with one diagram. So here you can find that this partitioner is working in between the mapper and the reducer. In between this partitioner is working. Mapper will take the key value pairs as input. And mapper in the mapper, the developer will put the respective business logic going to get implemented and going to get processed. And this mapper will produce output also in the form of key value pairs. Now, after taking this inputs from to this partitioner, which is nothing but the outputs of this mappers, the partitioner will do the partitioning. So this partitioning will be done depending upon the same value in the key. So whenever we are having the same value in the key for certain number of key value pairs, then that will form one partition. And each and every partition will be assigned to the dedicated reducer so that we can get this idea. We shall be having this information that which reducer is dealing with which partition. And whenever we are having only one reducer, then we do not require any partitioner there. So let us go for the more detailing. So what is partitioner? The mapper creates an intermediate key value pair. The partitioner is used to partition the intermediate key value pairs as I have mentioned. Each mapper output is partitioned by the keys and after that each partition is sent to the reducers. Now use of partitioners, we will be going for use of partitioners. So partitioners are used to group all the values of a specific key. So when the all the values of a specific key will be considered then the partitioning will be done. So depending upon the same value in the key, it will produce one partition there. Values of the same key are sent to the same reducer. This helps to determine which reducer is responsible for which key. So in MapReduce, the number of partitioners and reducers will be the same. And the output of a single partitioner is sent to a single reducer. So output of a single partitioner will be sent to a single reducer and if there is only one reducer then no partitioner will be required for that. So sometimes the hashing functions cannot divide the keys for partitioning then we should use the custom partitioner to overcome this very problem. So in this way we have discussed what is the role of partitioner in MapReduce. Thanks for watching this video.